What's up, y'all? It's Lawrence from Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. And today, well, first, as of today, June 2nd, I went to go see Across the Spider-Verse, man. Amazing freaking film. Our review will be out momentarily in a couple days. But I had to pick up this Gwen Stacy Spider, Gwen Spider Woman figure. So we're going to unbox this. But first, since I went to the movies, they gave me this Across the Spider-Verse poster. I haven't taken a look at it yet. But let's see what it looks like before we get going. Whoa, that is fire. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. I loved the movie. No spoilers here, but amazing freaking film. Dare I say, the best Spider-Man film ever made. Anyways, we're here to talk about toys. Let's boom. Here we are. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse part one. Dude, I didn't get the Spider-Gwen the first time around, so I'm really happy I was able to get this one, add her to the collection. Let's check out this package right here. It's awesome artwork. Miles, uh, Spider-Gwen, Gwen Stacy, and Spider-Man 2099, Miguel right here. Just dope packaging. You know, old school packaging like we had. That's 80s babies, 90s babies had growing up. You got the characters right here if you want to get a look at this. Pretty simple packaging. Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, but it doesn't open like it did back in the day. Uh, am I gonna have to get a box cutter? I think I am. Be right back. Here we go. Okay. Let's get this bad boy open. All right, now to be honest with you, I haven't read a Spider-Man comic in a very long time. It doesn't appear that they're doing really well over there in the Spider-Man department, comic book-wise. Um, I watch Comic Story in a lot. Uh, YouTuber breaks down comics, gives his point of view, also kind of gives you a play-by-play -play on issues in a really great dramatic way. So check him out if you haven't, and he's just talking about Spider-Man comics have just been all over the place for years. And every time I try to jump in, I don't know where to jump in, and it doesn't, yeah, seems a bit all over the place. Now, I love the movies and have collected Spider-Man comics back in the day quite a bit, but I mostly follow the movies. And of course, this movie. This is sick. Bring the light down just a little bit so you can see it a little better. There we go. Spider-Gwen, Spider-Woman, Ghost Spider. Let's get her out. Comes with interchangeable head. And kind of a, not really a gripping hand. <laughs> not a wall crawling hand or a web slinging hand and not a fist, but can definitely strike a dynamic pose, I guess. Same thing here, that's interesting. But you can definitely do some cool poses with this in squat positions, like, you know, when the hand's on the floor or whatever. Okay. And the hand she does come with, you do get a little web action. If it focuses.
Oh, focus. Right there. And you get a fist right here. So let's just take a deep, good look at this figure. Let's check out this head sculpt. There we go. Dope, man. Looks just like the freaking movie. Hair is pretty soft. So you can get, turn her head pretty easily. The hair doesn't get in the way. I mean, you wouldn't turn it all the way this way, but if you wanted to, hair doesn't get too much in the way. Love the paint apps. You can even see they gave her, I don't know if it's freckles or blush. Great eyes, this looks dope, the pink in her hair. Paint came out great. And as you see here, her hood is like a separate piece, which is great because it has to come off. So it just kind of like sits here, which is nice. And the rest of her body. Love the paint applications here. It's a simple figure, but that paint hits that pink. That pink pops, man. Great looking figure. There's some marks in the black right here where it's matte, some like weird factory stuff a little bit down here. It kind of sucks a bit, but you see it way more in this light than you do in person. But just, you know, it's not perfectly as smooth as it should be, but I'm all right with that. Let's check out the shoes, her Converse, where Miles has Jordans. She is wearing Converse. No peg holes. Doesn't come with a stand, so it doesn't matter. Let's check out the articulation. As you know, she has to have great articulation if she's a web head. Get great points of articulation here. It would be nice if we had like a little toe thing there, you know, just to enhance the posing and stuff, but it's all good torso, head up and down. Now, I'm so excited for this and you may not be able to hear it because I just saw the movie and I don't want to spoil or say anything but holding this figure, that's all I have in mind is just how dope this character was in the film, man. She shines in this joint. So I'm so excited I was able to grab her. I should have got the Miles too. I got this a while ago in New Jersey. I live in California. And I said, let me pass on the Miles. I have the one from the first movie. I think I'm okay. Man, after walking out of the theater, I was kicking myself. So I ordered the Miles. When I get that, we'll do another unboxing of him. But yo, this is pretty dope, man. You pretty much can get her into all the spotty poses you want. Now let's try this head out. Comes off pretty easy. Goes in pretty easy. Yeah, you, you can check that out. Uh, I wish this sat a little better, the hood. I know I'm picky, but I feel like, no, nah, it's fine. Maybe it's a little longer. I don't know, but. And then again, you know, you can see right here. I have a little defect up there. 
So quality control kind of sucks. And it's not like it's a $10 figure, so that's kind of lame. But I'm not tripping about it too much. My spider, Gwen, with this head on. Yep, do all the swivels. I wish the hood was a little bit more droopier or came down more, but it is what it is. How does she stand? And I'm not gonna change your hands out, but you know, it's pretty easy to do. Didn't even need to warm it up or anything. All right, let's bring her down a bit. All right, now I do have some figures I want to see, you know, how well she plays with. Because I'm all about family. If you ever watch any of my unboxings, you would know. I'm all about how well these figures pair with other figures who may not necessarily be in the same line. Okay? So first up, let's bring down the brightness a little bit. First up we have, of course, Miles Morales from the first movie. And he is significantly shorter than her, which I think was the deal in the original film. Maybe. <laughs> Not necessarily the case in this film. Miles does grow up a little bit. Spoiler alert. But I'm all about family. So I think that works really well. I'm gonna get the other miles, but if I didn't, I think this looks pretty dope. And of course, my Peter Parker. Now, I didn't get Peter B. Parker. I just need one Spider-Man. And the best Spider-Man figure to get is the Mayfix Spider-Man right here. And I think he works well with these Spider-Verse figures. I think this is my, whatever they call it in Marvel, my Earth Prime. You know, that's DC or whatever, but Marvel, this is my Spider-Man. I think him and Gwen. I think that works really well. I do. Be cool if her eyes were a little bigger. Her eyes are definitely bigger in her kind of rested state, kind of like Miles, right? Her eyes are definitely bigger. I mean, you see it. You can see it like, uh, you know, right there in the packaging that her eyes are regular Spider-Man size eyes. So I wish they gave us that instead of this kind of expression she has, which is a little bit more menacing or gave us options. Now, let's see how they look in their civilian attire. Not really civilian, unmasked together. So you got Gwen, pop that back on. Miles, and for those wondering, it is completely different than the first uh, Spider-Verse figures. Um, I don't know if that was the case for the Gwen that came out. I can't tell you what they're going to do for the Miles that's coming out, but comparing these two versions, yeah, the head swap, the heads won't be interchangeable. Let me know if it's different with the 
across the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales. So already, you know, it's, it's a much younger Miles to this Gwen, which is all right. Now, don't clown me. I didn't get the Mafex <laughs> Spider-Man that came with the Peter Parker head, so I bought a terrible bootleg from Alibaba. Don't recommend it to get this kind of terrible. It's a terrible Peter Parker head. It looks terrible, but it does the job. It does the job that I want it to do. which is Peter Parker. That works for my display. That works. I love this. I freaking love this. I'm all about mixing and matching and don't have any plans to get Peter B. Parker. So this is kind of my display. I have no plans to get any other version of Miles Morales outside of Across the Spider-Verse. Although the other figures are dope, especially the video game figures dope. But this is my spider family right freaking here. So dope. So freaking dope. So let me know what you guys think, man, of these figures. Let me know what you guys think of the movie. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Hit the links too, man. We have a, a podcast. We're on social media. We're everywhere. Hit the playlist. There's other toy unboxings as well as movie reviews and toy hunts and just a whole lot of really fun stuff we're doing here, man. We're just geeks and we have a lot of fun doing this stuff so yeah oh that's not the way i was trying to close out this video there we go man spider-man across the freaking multi-verse spider-woman across the multiverse all right, I'll see you next time. Same spider time, same spider channel. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. We're